Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot the K1 Max and the CFS. I don't know why the CFS keeps retracting. Let's scratch today's troubleshoot. Today, I went and used my K1 Max, and guess what? It keeps retracting. I have no idea why. Every single time I put a filament in the CFS, it just retracts. It never extrude or anything like that. When I put the filament in, it detects it, but it does not extrude it. It just like roll backward. I'll show you what I mean. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have this problem too? I may know what the problem is, but let's go ahead and see what is happening with the K1 Max and the CFS. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the K1 Max and plug in the CFS up here. The K1 Max is on, the CFS is on. I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna put in my second film right here. What it should do is once it detects it, it should just extrude it. But look at that. It detects it, but it does not extrude. When I push this and manually do it myself, right? So that it's in there. I'm gonna go to the screen here, tab on filament, select my second one. And if I press the one B up there, it should redo the calibration or whatever it is. Like try to read if this is from Creative or something like that. Like it always does that, right? CFS, it goes in there all the way to the buffering and then we'll come back out, stick right here. So we're gonna click 1B. And this is what it does. It just retract. It just goes backward like this. I don't know why it always does this. Usually when you press that, it extrudes down there. And then it turns red. And then it gives you this error saying that there's something wrong with the CFS hub. If we go back here and see the buffering, you can see that I can push this without any problems. From my experience of what is happening is that there's still filament in here. The filament detector used to be way back there, but I took it off because the CFS kit has a new sensor right here. What I think is that there's filament in here. Every single time I try to extrude or retract or redo the filament calibration here, or whatever it's called, it, it will always retract. And side note, look at this, 61% humidity. That is so bad. This is why I'm saying that this should have drying capability, but it's fine. And we click this, we hit extrude, it will do its stuff. It's going to do the homing, and then it's going to go cut the filament, and then it's going to go extrude. It went back there. It's going to, you know, extrude any left filament. Look at that. It did not even, you know, use that at all. It just tried to extrude something, but it can't because the filament is cut way too low or it thinks that it has, still has filament in there. What I'm going to do is use the third slot here. So I'm going to select the screen here and click extrude for the third slot. And look at that. It retracts the second slot for no reason. This second slot is so cursed. If you've been following the channel, you have seen I have countlessly taken off the K1 Max tons and tons of time. but. I will still show you how to do it in this video. Before I take up any screw, I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect this tube right here. And we're gonna look down there to see if there's any filament. I'm not quite sure, it's pretty nasty. But what I'm gonna do is take off these two screws on this side right here, one on this other side. And what I recommend is that if you have an wrench with the ball end right here, use them. It's a little bit easier because this is a very tight space. And with these, you can angle it a little bit and have more room to work with. Okay, once we have all these three screws off, um, the extruder here is just gonna pop right out. Let me, I'm gonna make you guys a little bit higher. Okay, hopefully this is a good angle. So let's just take this off and see if there's any film in there. Be careful, you don't want to rip this cable off. So just kind of wiggle a little bit and just flip it backward. If we look closely, down there, there is a filament right there. Um, oh, I just kind of push it down. But are there filament in here? That's the real question. The filament sensor is right here. The little board right there, that's the filament sensor. So I don't know if there's filament here that's causing the CFS to retract all the time. What I want to do is use this rod pusher and just push it through the extruder to see if we can go through. Yes, look at that, we can go through. So that confirms that there's nothing 
inside the filament sensor right here. Everything is clean. Another thing I just found out. Look at that. I totally forgot to check what's in there. Oh my gosh. There's a filament going in here and there's also a detector right here. And there's filament in there. So what can we do about this? Well, we need to get rid of this filament. So how do we do that? We need to take out this cover and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Wow, this video has been turned into like a full guide of troubleshooting the whole Cable Max with the CFS system. You still gonna need any wrenches to, uh, and I just dropped one to take this off. So there's one screw right here, one screw, one screw, one screw, one screw. And this four screw that's holding this plastic cover there. Now that we got that, we can take off this cover. So what the best choice here is just to take this cover off and just pull out the filament. This is PLA filament and the plastic cover here uses these very small screws. There we go. And look at that. It broke right there. It's such brittle filament. Some PLA are like so brittle, some are not. And I feel like low quality PLA are like super brittle. I'm gonna have to be so careful. And I think it just broke. You can definitely still see some green right there. It broke. Oh my gosh. So what I'm gonna do now is <laughs> I'm gonna have to use some filament and just squeeze this through. Feed in this PTG right here. Push in this so that it opens up. And I think I'm hitting it. Oh, I did. I heard it came out. Okay, so I'm gonna pull back, close this so that filaments don't fall out. And yes, there we go. We got the filament out. I hope you can see that it's right here. PLA was broken in there and caused all this trouble. Looks like right here, it's clear, nothing in there. So I'm gonna be putting this back together. Moment of truth, did we fix this issue? I'm gonna put in this video right now. There we go. Once it detects, it should extrude in like that and do the calibration thingy. I forgot to put the tooth back there. And I don't know why this Creality filament is giving trouble. Oh gosh, that is so bad. <laughs> This is definitely not my fault. Even though it was bent there, it should not have caught under three. This is Creality's fault. Dang it. Why does everything have to be with Creality? Uh, this one works fine. That's not from Creality, it's from Deeply. There you go. That is how you troubleshoot the K1 Max with the CFS kit upgrade. I really thought it was something in the extruder there. At first I thought it was something in the extruder with the filament sensor and the printhead, but no, it's not. It's under the CFS, as you just saw right there. The filament broke, and that's exactly my reason why the other video, I'll put it up here. I say that the CFS should have come with heating, just a simple heating. And as you saw earlier, right, 61 humidity inside of that. They have a humidity sensor, but no heating. That's like a bummer, but that's not the point of this video. It's just that. That is how you troubleshoot your CFS. If it just keep retracting, just look under the bottom of the CFS and you will definitely maybe see that there are filaments stuck in there. If not, check the printer, check the filament sensor. It thinks that there's filament so that it wants to extrude, but in this case, it's not, it's the CFS. The filament broke in there, but that'll be it for this video. I hope you find value in this video. Leave a comment down below. Have you gotten into this trouble with randomly it just keep retracting and you don't really know what it is? Or what kind of other problems do you guys have? Leave a like on this video subscribe to our channel because more amazing stuff like this is coming all the time. And if you haven't yet become a member of the YouTube channel, it helps me tremendously funding projects in the future and right now. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on 3D printing.